Government shutdowns can potentially occur when Congress fails to pass spending bills, or if Congress fails to increase the debt ceiling. This situation could cause the government to go into shutdown, which would lead to a number of services being shut down, including those provided by the Internal Revenue Service IRS. While Congress can pass a bill to temporarily fund the government, a permanent solution is needed to avoid a long-term shutdown. Congress must pass a budget and find agreement on how to raise the nation's debt limit, or else the government will be forced to shut down. A government shutdown can also occur if Congress does not reach a budget resolution by the expiration of the current fiscal year. It is important for Congress to reach an agreement so that essential services can remain operational and taxpayers can continue to receive the services they are entitled to. The government could potentially be shut down for days, weeks, or even longer depending on how long negotiations take. In the event of a government shutdown, multiple government agencies will be significantly impacted, from the Department of Education to the Department of Defense. The impacts of a government shutdown can be wide-reaching, from furloughing employees to suspending non-essential services. The longer the shutdown, the worse the consequences will be, leading to dramatic declines in economic output and possible disruptions in security. It is in the interest of both Congress and the nation as a whole to avoid a government shutdown. No one knows for sure how long a shutdown might last as the duration of a potential shutdown depends on budget negotiations between the various political parties. If either the House or the Senate passes a budget and the other does not, a government shutdown can occur. Even if a bill passes both chambers, if the President does not sign to approve the budget, another shutdown could take place. With many federal government programs and services depending on timely budget appropriations, it is critical that the government be able to work in a timely manner. The effects of a government shutdown are felt by both federal employees and the citizens who depend on them for services. In addition, Shutting down the government would have wide-reaching economic implications that could be felt well beyond Washington. Congress needs to carefully consider the various political interests and fiscal constraints when attempting to reach a budget deal. A government shutdown could cause major disruptions in the economy and have a ripple effect across the entire country. The best way to avoid a government shutdown is for Congress to work together and come up with an agreement that both parties can agree on. If the two political parties cannot come to a compromise, the government may be forced to shut down. Most government shutdowns are mandated by laws that require Congress to pass a bill to prevent it, and any failure to do so will cause the government to shut down. In order for Congress to prevent a government shutdown, they must pass appropriations bills and agree to a budget plan before the existing spending bill or resolution expires. A lapse in appropriations by Congress because of disagreement on budget matters would cause a government shutdown. 
the cause of a government shutdown could also be attributed to a lapse in the command of the president.